First ball of day five will be bowled by Saranga Lakmal. Here he goes. <laughs> Loud appeal. Just losing his footing, Craig Brathwaite. And Roshan Dikwela sharing his view with his captain. Berna Ratna, they lost the review yesterday. No time left. Went for the pull. Luckily for Nkrumah Bonner, it flew over the wicket keeper. He gets a boundary and releases the pressure a bit. Flies through that third slip region. Created the opportunity for a wicket, but no fielders there. Fifty-two for one. Was their boot on that one? Embaldinia try to stop the ball. The umpire will have to check again. Yes, I, I saw a little deviation there. Just rock and roll that with the boot. A little, yes, a deviation there. Made contact with the boot. Let me have your best side on angle now. Okay, but up, but in the air, but. Wrong did, wicket's broken. Okay, I'm satisfied with that. My de decision for the big screen is not out. Repeat, not out. Full toss, thank you. And they won't stop it. A boundary. For Bonner. Yeah! Yeah! Goes through it. Just as you were speaking about the impact of spinners, Lasset Embaldinia makes the critical breakthrough for Sri Lanka and that of the captain Craig Brathwaite. Crunched. By Nkrumah Bonner in control, authoritative, gets the boundary. Certainly was looking for the short delivery. Big single, he gets his 50. Another landmark for Nkrumah Bonner, his third test match half century in only his sixth test match innings so he's shown consistency shown maturity and certainly shown responsibility the final delivery safely negotiated by Nkuma Bonner and that's lunch on day five, West Indies close on 91 for two. Just the one wicket falling in this session, that of the captain Craig Brathwit. And West Indies will feel the happier of the two teams. Still a lot of work to be done in this test match if they had to hang on for a draw. Mickey Arthur would still be thinking just eight good deliveries. One wicket, 57 runs in 28 overs is what we've had so far. Such a well-controlled shot. Short ball. 
really good short ball from Dushmanta Chimira. Found himself in an awkward position, Carl Mears. Edged. Goes away down towards the third man boundary. And gets there for fortuitous boundary for Carl Mears. Powerfully swept away from Nkuma Bonner. Goes the distance. First six of the innings for him. Chance for a run out here. Confusion. Gets back safely. All is well that ends well. 125 for two. Edged away. Goes into the gap. Another boundary. A friend Kruma Bonner. Not in control, but he'll take them. Yeah, look, he's got it away there. Another boundary. Runs flowing reasonably well for the Windies today. 143 for two. Oh, that's gorgeous. It would be hard work for the fielder to make it. Looking very comfortable, Kyle Mares. A beautiful boundary. Work to the one side. Four runs. Freebie this time. Another boundary to him. That single brings up the 100 partnership. It's the sixth, third wicket partnership of 100 or more. West Indies versus Sri Lanka. And for you, Stats Guru, there's the first time of that six that the partnership does not involve Brian Lara. That is 50 in Calmiers. Another landmark for him. The last time he got past 50, he got an unbeaten 210. Calmiers. Well watched. Competently and confidently done. 181 for two. And that will be T here on the final day of the first test match. And the trend continues. No wicket in this period. We've seen that on days three and four. And we've seen it today again on day five. Weston is camp will feel very pleased with this effort. 27 overs, 90 runs, but more importantly, that wicket column. Zero. Sri Lankans, well, they've toiled really hard. Nothing to show for it. Edge and gone. It was wide outside the off stump. Lured Carl Mayers into the shot. Outside edge found. Early wicket, post T. Been pushed down the ground. This should have enough to go into the boundary line, yes. And Kruma Bonner goes to 90 now. West Indies, 193 for three. Need another 182 runs to win. Sri Lanka need seven wickets. 
as umpire Gregory Bradway just waving that the new ball has been taken. Such a wonderful greeting. If you're in Kruma Bona anyway. A gentle loosener from Fernando. I was slap square of the wicket through the, the backward point region for four. That is the end of Jermaine Blackwood. You could almost sense it coming from Vishwa Fernando. For the second time in the match, Blackwood is bold. century for Nkrumah Bonner. Look what it means to the Jamaican. He showed his worth in Bangladesh and he's brought his form to Antigua. The realization of a childhood dream. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. That will run away. A boundary. I'm sure some relief in the West Indian camp. Oh, and that's gorgeous. We talked about him looking elegant. And that was another beautiful, beautiful shot. Four runs. Oh, that was neat. Tucked away. And a boundary to end the over. Nine off of it. The Wendy's 222 for four. Goes the one towards the third man boundary from Jason Holder. And gets there. Not in control entirely. Boundary nonetheless. Too straight. This time, does it have the legs to go all the way? It does. Just about. So well timed from Jason Hula. Teased the fielder all the way to the boundary. Slashed away from Nkuma Bona. And gets the boundary with short dispatched. 236 oh, for four. Keep your eyes on Dimut Karnaratna and what he does. Four overs into this 15. Yes, he does. And shake hands with Nkrumah Bonner. And that's the end of this, the first Sandals test match. And this two match series ends in a draw. And both these teams played really good cricket to get themselves in dominant position at times. But in the end, nothing to separate the West Indies from Sri Lanka. Confirmation that the match is drawn. We've seen some superb performance, performances throughout the course of this match. Fathom Nisanka, debut Test 100, the fourth Sri Lankan to do so, and the first outside Sri Lanka, Tirimana, Two half centuries in this test match. Really solid at the top of the order for Sri Lanka. Have they found another reliable and dependable player? The Mickey Arthur all smiles. Quite a different scenario from day one when they were shut out for 169. The second innings belong to the West Indies and their batsmen. And this man in particular, he can smile now and so he should. Really resolute and stoic in the second innings and dispassionate unemotional and did the job that was required of him appreciations for their efforts all around both these teams 
will go into that second test match with all to play for.